What's going on, everybody? My bad for not posting any Diamond Dynasty over the past couple of days. So I have the 95 Justin Morneau in the lineup this game. I wanted to pick him up. He was only going for around 12,000. I'm still going to use George Brett 100%. Just want to use this 95 Morneau for a little bit just to see how he can do. Because he has very good stats. He was one of my favorite players when I was growing up. I also have the 99 Tim Lincecum in the rotation this game. Lincecum has very good stats. 88 hits per 9, 91 Ks per 9, 87 velocity, which is a major increase from last year's game. And 99 break. He has a four-seam changeup, curveball, slider, and a sinker. I don't think he had a sinker in last year's game, too. So this card is definitely better. Justin Morneau also has good stats, like I was saying. 96 contact versus righties, 83 versus lefties. Pretty good power, too. I think it's around the same as last year, so this is a very comparable card to MLB 16. 87 power versus righties and 88 versus lefties. Good vision and 73 fielding. I hope my connection is good this game. Oh yeah, I have the 92 David Price in the rotation too. I forgot to mention that. Uh, he has the 89 Tim Lincecum on the mound. A lot of golds. Springer. Colby Rasmus, Cozart, Nelson Cruz destroys me. Moustakis. The BR Failure, Zimmerman, Neil Walker, and Buster Posey. Interesting lineup. And he's a Cowboys fan. I kind of crawled out of bed this morning, so I didn't have the chance to eat. You know what's a really underrated cereal that doesn't get a lot of respect? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That shit is amazing. I would eat my own foot if it had Cinnamon Toast Crunch on it. And I'm just being honest. Gone. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. This is why you don't play at Yankee Stadium. This might be a home run derby. I'm swinging for the fences. Look at Morneau's picture. Stone face. Man, he's throwing curveballs right down the pipe pretty much. Keep doing it. Now this David Price, like I was saying, is not as good. This will probably be a base hit. What a way to start it. But yeah, this David Price only has 80 hits per nine or something. I forgot to show his stats. My bad, but I didn't even remember that I had him in the lineup. All I know is he doesn't have any amazing stats. I don't even think the break is that good. That's a terrible pitch, too. What the? What in the blue shit? I don't even know what the hell that was, to be honest. Is this guy a check swing king or something? No! What am I doing? I almost choked. Come on, Rollins. Get on the board, buddy. Finally! That might be his first base hit. In ranked, at least. Dude. Now, how does that back him off the biscuit? He is sitting on a fastball if I've ever seen somebody sitting on the heat. Look at this. Swing and a miss on the change up and there are two Only throw change ups. On the ground to third. I didn't throw one. Sometimes you just wonder. You have to be sitting on something other than the fastball. At some point. There he is. Ever since Brantley's been back in the two spot. You can't get him out. Absolutely waiting. Ah, he didn't make the play. Donaldson. He's on the curveball. Now what? He was on the last changeup and the last curveball I threw. That's what I mean. You feel like someone's just going to be waiting for a different pitch. That was quick. Who's up? Morno. Already one for one. Let's go, man. Show off the mean mug. Gone! Jimmy! He's finally showed up to the ballpark, man! That's what you do! How do you do that? How do you check swing every time if it's not a fastball and it's not a swing? Does that confuse anyone else? Why, why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. 
Actually, he's kind of on the off speed now, so that wasn't even that dumb. Yeah, I don't. If, it, if that's not in the zone, that's not called a strike. Because it wouldn't have been called a swing, obviously. Like, what? I don't. How do you do it? No, he's on the curveball. Now he's late on the fastball. Wait. Do not tell me Mauer dropped that. What? Call the strike. Get the out. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice play from Jimmy. I don't know what you have to do to do something with Mauer. The thing with Mauer, too, he's a beast against the CPU. You play with Mauer against the CPU, you will get a home run every time. But if you play in ranked, I don't know what's going on. I have not been making good swings with Trout in this game. Show off the heat. The heat. 98! Oh, wait, no. I can't read. I believe that said 96. I apologize. Now that's a nice pitch. I'm not, yeah, I'm not doing a good job locating pitches. Brantley is two for two. No surprise. Thought he was going to be three for three. Morneau is leaving the stadium. This will be across the street by the time this lands. I have a feeling. Or he could hit a weak ground ball. What the hell was that? That will come back and haunt the team. Go back upstairs. That's way too high. I'm going back to it. That's not high enough. Jimmy. Two for two on the day. Why stop? Keep going. Let's see if Jimmy can start to heat up now. Now the pitch. Go down. What? See, man, Pedroia does hit the ball hard. 50-something power versus righties. Mauer needs to get a base hit right here, dude. That's a huge hit. Now I can go to the bench. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nice. Settle down. Thank you, sir. Somebody needs to score a run. Trout! Come on, man. This is not Trout's day. I have no idea how that carried so far. That was not even that bad. Donaldson is due. 0 for 3. Hit the other way if I turned on that, Cruz. we would be talking about three runs on the board. The most interesting part of the ball game. Sean Green. That's gone. I am so lucky that didn't leave. That was right down the middle. Morneau does have good stats versus lefties. This might not even matter. Under it. Just a little bit. Someone needs to go deep right now. I don't know why I swear at that. It's, it's sometimes hard to read these high pitches against Rollins. His strike zone is so small. Matanzas, don't choke in your home stadium. I have seen it done many times. But not right now. I'm, I'm going to have to get lessons from this guy. How do you check swing? Matanzas will blow this. No, he, he's leaving. He's done. Get him out! That was in the zone! That's gas. This Ken Giles is a beast. Unbelievable. Nice grab! More no! Uh oh. <laughs> what is more terrifying than that? Base is loaded. One, two, count. Call it!
I do not believe this. I'm going back to bed. The only thing I can take away from that game is this dude needs to teach me how to check swing. Everything out of the zone! He check swung at. Called a ball. But yeah, that was the Justin Morneau debut. Didn't go the way I planned it, but it's all right. He was one for four. I'm not sure if he's going to stay in the lineup because I still want to use George Brett, like I was saying. But if I don't put Morneau in the lineup, then he will be on the bench and and the other way around. If Brett's in, or wait, if Morneau is in, Brett will be on the bench. And if Brett's in, Morneau will be on the bench. So that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, subscribe as well. And I will see everybody in the next video.